Hi. So the Fermilab muon G-2 experiment released their new results on April 7th, and I just wanted to drop a quick note to let you know what those results were and to encourage you to go watch the seminar in which they announced their result. Okay, so up until April 7th, the best experimental determination of muon G-2 was from the experiment at Brookhaven National Laboratory. That result is shown here. Its uncertainty is shown in parentheses and is on the last two digits of the result. Now, this can also be compared with the value predicted in the standard model, shown here with its uncertainty. The Brookhaven result is a little bit above the standard model prediction. If you take the difference between the Brookhaven result and the standard model prediction, you get 3.7 sigma. Okay, so that was the status up until April 7th. I'd encourage you to go watch the seminar from Fermilab where the result was announced. You can find the link in the upper right hand corner and in the description below. Okay, so here is the result that the Fermilab muon G-2 experiment announced compared with the previous Brookhaven result. There are three things that I'd like to point out about this new result. First, the two experimental results are within one sigma of each other. They differ by 49 in the last two digits, while the uncertainty in the last two digits is 54 for the Fermilab result and 63 for the Brookhaven result. So the two results agree with each other very well. Next, the Fermilab result is slightly lower, and therefore slightly closer to the standard model prediction than the Brookhaven result. And lastly, the Fermilab uncertainty is smaller than that on the Brookhaven result. Now it's interesting to compare this new result to the standard model prediction. The difference between the Fermilab result and the standard model prediction is a bit smaller than the difference between the Brookhaven result and the standard model, with a smaller uncertainty. The difference comes out to be 3.3 sigma. But wait, that's not all. The Fermilab muon G-2 people also combined their result with the previous Brookhaven result. This combined value is intermediate between the values obtained by Fermilab and BNL. And the uncertainty on this combined result is smaller than the uncertainty on either individual result. The individual results had uncertainties in the last two digits of 54 and 63 respectively. The uncertainty on the combined result is 41 in the last two digits. Okay, so how does this combined result compare to the standard model prediction? The difference between this combined result and the SM prediction is a bit smaller than the difference between the previous Brookhaven result and the standard model, but the uncertainty is reduced. With this reduction in uncertainty, the difference between this new combined result and the standard model prediction is 4.2 sigma. And just as a reminder, the difference between the Brookhaven result and the standard model prediction was 3.7 sigma. So this shows how important it can be to reduce uncertainties. Okay, so in summary, go check out the muon G-2 experiment seminar.